All right, folks. For real this time, we're going to do the uh, how to build an army. And uh, I've forgotten last video that I already have one year guys who are eligible for, for one year contracts. So um, I, I'm going to show you first how to just combine forces from an existing army. Um, I'll note that I've had Johnston's group set about building a fort right here. And uh, I guess we can actually play so we can see it get constructed. I, I don't remember exactly how long they take. Okay, so it takes three months. That's actually a long time. Uh, but while he's doing that, we're going to have uh, Porterfield's group join... I think this is Johnson, right? Johnson was in the army of Shenandoah. So in order to do that, click on Manage Army. And we will click on Transfer. And what we want to do is just find the army of the Shenandoah. And all Porterfield has to offer is Smith's group, which has Mississippi Rifle. Pretty good. Uh, and what we're going to do is we're, you just left click on it. You drag it to the other army until you see that little yellow arrow. Make that 90 degree turn and turn down. And then you just release the left click and boom. It's going to take three days. To, to transfer him over, and I think when we get out of this, Porter Field should disappear. Yeah, he does. Which is actually okay, because I think he was taking some of the supply that should have gone to, to Johnson's army. So, Johnson was at, I don't know, 55 or 70% supply, but now that Porter Field's army isn't taking it, it's kind of all, all going to Johnson's army. So, they're fully supplied. Again, you can see that 100%, and I'll tell you of what, right? More is better, and so you have all this stuff. You also have all this information over here, Again, this game throws a lot of information at you. Um, encamped is not a bad thing. I, I believe that they should be training uh, when they're not doing other things. Uh, Johnson's supposed to be building that fort. We'll see if he actually does it, but it's a good place for a fort. Uh, this is also not, not a bad place. One of the problems with this position I found early on is that it lacks supply. For, for whatever reason it is, it, it just seems to not get very much in the way of supply up here. The solution to that, I'm, I'm thinking, is that once Beauregard eventually makes it up to Charlottesville, I'll probably have him come up in somewhere... I don't know. Pepper Church. Maybe we'll have him build a, a, a supply depot back here. Uh, that's, anyways, th th those are my thoughts. Uh, but that's not why you're here. But those are some other early moves. I mean, the other early move in the campaign was that we we did go forward and we tried to engage the Union Army. They fell back, and when they did that, uh, Price kind of stopped right where he was. You'll see that in these cities, there's there's our lines that kind of show you the the overall control. I thought I was retaking this, but now now I'm not so sure. So we're going to move Price just right into that city so that it goes full red and we have full control over it. Uh, we have other armies on the move. McCall is actually making okay time. Uh, pretty sure Zolikoff is almost to, to his destination. I know, I think it was Price who was down here. Has a long way to go. Uh... Oh, I think I sent him in the wrong... I definitely sent him in the wrong way. Well, I'm glad I did this video, because I'd be like, well, where's the other army in the, the middle of the country? And uh, they're not where they're supposed to be. Uh, but I'm not going to recruit for armies that are on the, the move or anything like that. Because it will have a tremendous effect on reducing their readiness. We don't, I don't want that. So you got your orders, but you still look like you want to go there. All right, let's presume that they're not actually... Maybe that's telegraph lines. That actually would make a lot more sense. Uh, I think originally I was going to have Zollicoffer go over to Charleston. I'm... I don't know. Having played this before... Louisville might make more sense. So we'll send him over there. All right, now to build that army. I suppose a good place to start as any would be... 
would be the Army of the Potomac. Uh, they are faced off right now against a, a force that is larger than them and seems to be moving at them. Uh, it has about twice as much infantry and three times the number of guns. Uh, that's both concerning. So we're going to do it. Uh, right now. Let's see. Yeah, three different sections is probably fine. Uh, this will have artillery in that one. Oh, uh, so. Alright, so they're just going to make me make three branches. See, these stars here kind of tell us what we can do. If, if you're the one star, you can't add. Looks like more units below you. I could have added them up here and dragged them, but it looks like it's just going to be too much. So we're just going to put these guys here. Whoa. Whoa. All right. So that's what we want to do. And now we're back into to three different groups. So this is going to be cab. This is going to be artillery, and this is going to be infantry. Uh, <coughs> because we're a little pressed for time early on. I'm, I'm going to try to recruit from some of the areas that are closer. Notice that overall we have 117,000 volunteers. That's good. I mean, that's that's very healthy. They're going to come in initially on 12-year contracts. Again, depending on the policies and other stuff we pursue, those contracts may end up being 36-year contracts. But we're not going to tell them that when they're when they're signing up. So we'll recruit them uh, there. For whatever reason, no, it's not for whatever reason. I tend to recruit from uh, artillery from Florida because the number of volunteers from Florida is so paltry. Right at 655, it, you can't really get anything that matters for for that amount. So I'm gonna recruit, and you can get different size. These are the horse artillery, right? They, so they're generally smaller. I think about half as large as a standard artillery. But I'm not sure that they actually move faster like they're supposed to. So even though I think it, it might increase the overall recruitment time by uh, recruiting two units from the same state, I'm not sure if that still exists. But if it does, I, I'm, I'm still going to risk it, like whatever. Uh, but I'm going to take one regular and one horse artillery, and that'll be fine for them. Uh, we don't yet have cavalry. What? Uh, we'll draw from North Carolina. And, yeah, I'll take the, the largest one we can get. Because we're going to use them. <coughs> Excuse me. What's our ETAs here? 16 days, 39 days, 31 days, 21 days. So they are quite a ways out. That's just... I don't know how it goes early on here. One of the other things you you might want to think about is who the, the commander is. Generally, I want a commander of the same background as the men under his command. I mean, this guy, he's probably the worst officer I've ever seen. Now, one of the things I, I gather that the devs have done between the start of the last campaign and this one is that they've, they're no longer giving you commanders that by default have kind of the best... Like, their, their greatest possible stats, they kind of show you where they were early on in the war. And so you might want to know your options. And I, I guess I would say start at the top. Oh, by the way, that's all there is to recruitment. I mean, now you gotta you got to wait for the armies to show up. It'll tell you this is when everybody arrives. It's not instantaneously 10,000 men. It's only after this amount of time passes. Uh but this is also a, a good place to take a look at your, your order of battle. And this is right the, the CSA Army of the Potomac. And that's their, their current commander. Those are his stats. Again, he's got fame and not much else. But let's compare him, right? Compared to, to what? So, top, Porterfield. He's the guy who just gave his one unit to uh, the other army. Not that not that much but better, really. Uh we can see that he can't, he's a veteran. 
Mm, Major General and Volunteer. Okay, fine. That's, that's that is what it is. Pillow, I would say, is is a, is a little bit better, even if a little bit less famous. Uh, he's got some administration, which I think is important. I don't feel obligated to follow what happened historically because this isn't that. I'm very inclined to probably put Albert Sidney Johnston in Johnston in charge. Uh, I, I think that there's there's a lot here. Yeah, he might be a mediocre administrator, but he does other things well. Uh, but we'll see what our options are. And Johnston, uh, he, he's of the infantry, and most, most of the units aren't going to be infantry. So that's something to consider. Cheatham's okay. Donaldson, not that great. Frost, not that great. Bonham, not that great. Bragg, uh, okay on administration. Other things, eh. Uh, Richard Anderson is pretty, pretty impressive. Uh... I don't know if, if he's going to lead an army, uh, but certainly a cavalry corps, maybe. Uh, but he's got good administration, cunning, leadership. Like all of those are, are things I, I would look for and I'd want. Uh, these, not so much. Lawton. Eh, Buckner Sr. Maybe. Cooper's not terrible. Uh, yeah, he's not terrible. He's from artillery. Paul is good. I, I, I don't know. I, I guess I'd try to avoid those guys because feuds can be annoying. We have all these folks. And then, all right, Hardy, I'm pretty, pretty impressed. Again, he comes from cavalry and he's got pretty good stats. Who's this guy? Uh, oh, okay, this guy's got some, some okay stats. I'm surprised they give him such, such poor early marks for uh, administration. Uh, but certainly, Lee is probably the best we're going to get early on. Uh, let's see if that's true. What is a long street? Long street yeah, is also quite good early. Theophilus Holmes. He's got great administration. I, I actually think about taking him. Uh, but whatever. You could fiddle through here and, and you could change these these guys as, as you wanted. Um, you know what? I, I, I'm going to go ahistorical just to go ahistorical. And I'm going to put Johnson in charge. And under Richardson... Yeah, yeah we, we, can, we can afford to lose him. All right, we'll, we'll give Lee a crack at it. And, and see how he does. Now, this is a little bit different, I guess. Um, now, I already know who I want. Because I saw... Anderson somewhere. There it is. Yeah, I want him. Uh, I gotta see who's available. I'm pretty sure Pelham and others are available. What? Yeah, there he is. I knew he, I knew he existed. All right, Beckham. Yeah, no, no we want Pelham. All right. Uh, so that's gonna be our Army of the Potomac. And then you would just do that with other armies as well. Actually, I want to see. South Carolina always seems a bit stingy with its, its numbers. I don't know what that's about. We're going to try to get cavalry from them. All right, 26, 21 days. All right, so I lied. I'm actually going to add more, more infantry early on. Uh, so Georgia is usually a wash in recruits. There we go. Eh, maybe not a wash, but they got some. And we're going to go with the, the big brigade there. Mm. So what would this give Johnson in the end? 15,000 men, 29 guns. I want more than that. But anyways, I'm gonna wrap up this video. I, I think you've learned how it how it goes. Uh, it's actually relatively easy. It gets a little bit more interesting when when you can have independent corps operating outside the army. That's not how it works here, though. They're all gonna be within the the Army of the Potomac. The Army of the Potomac is gonna be sitting here for for a while because 
all this recruitment has dropped its readiness considerably. It, it, it's going to drop more once Magruder's guys... I think I'm going to have Magruder's guys just, just fall in with the Army of the Potomac and, and make it a bit a bit larger. It's hard to say. I, I could really use three mobile armies to also cover Fredericksburg, but it looks like the Union's going to be coming over these two tracks, maybe trying to sneak in here over, over Cumberland. I don't know. Um, but that's just what I'm inclined to do early on. So I hope this helped. Uh, it's now just a matter of time to, to wait and see how those armies uh, come out. But that's where, that's that's for the future to, to tell us here.